This video features high-end, limited edition collectibles and is intended for adult collectors. I'm not fucking stupid, but being dumb. Maybe just a little bit foolish, but I feel so young. Hey guys, welcome to Toy Chat. This is Max. And Sang. If you've been following us for the past few weeks, you may have noticed that we definitely took a bit of a deep dive back into the world of Playline dolls. But don't worry, Integrity Toys fans, we've still got you. Because today, we're getting right back into IT. If you did watch our last review of Amaya Rain from Rainbow High, you may already be aware that our giveaway has ended and we have already been in contact with the winner, but we would like to once again offer a congratulations to our giveaway winner, Oscar Quintanilla. Thank you so much to everyone who entered our Rainbow High Amaya Rain giveaway and stay tuned to our channel for more giveaways and fun in the future. We have gained several new subscribers since our last few videos, so we'd firstly like to say welcome and thank you for subscribing to Toy Chat. Today, we have three gorgeous dolls from, if you are not familiar with them, a company called Integrity Toys. Integrity Toys has been in the toy industry for over 25 years, and they are most known currently as a luxury fashion doll brand that caters to adult collectors. If you're new to Integrity Toys and want to check out all of our previous coverage of this high-end doll brand, we will link our Integrity Toys playlist in the description below. The W Club is Integrity Toys' official club that offers exclusive perks by joining. Each year, they offer the opportunity to pre-order three exclusive dolls when signing up for a club membership. They call them upgrade dolls, since in addition to purchasing your membership, you can upgrade to these dolls. Each doll costs $135 plus shipping and handling. These dolls are made to order, so the final count of each doll vary depending on their popularity. The dolls this year are each part of arguably their three most popular lines, Fashion Royalty, New Face, and Poppy Parker. We have all three of the 2020 upgrade dolls here today. Each doll is housed in their respective line boxes. Le Tuxedo Eugenia Perrin Frost in her Fashion Royalty box, Mademoiselle Lilith Blair in her New Face box, and Pretty Bird Poppy Parker in, of course, her Poppy Parker box. We've seen these boxes before as they are the current design for each line, so we won't go over them in too much detail. First up, we have Le Tuxedo Eugenia Perrin Frost out of box. Longtime fans of Eugenia can recognize that this Eugenia is based on the incredibly popular and holy grail status Going Public Eugenia, released in 2008. Despite being an edition size of 1,330, Going Public is among the most prized Eugenia's dolls out there. Her popularity has fueled IT designers to continue using similar screenings as hers over the years. La Tuxedo here with us is the most similar to her as you can get. La Tuxedo has smoky eyeshadow with hints of gold paint starting at the inner crease and fans out to your eyelid. She has thick dark wing eyeliner over piercing blue eyes. She has hand applied eyelashes and soft pink blush. Her lips are a light pink glossy color. Eugenia looks like she is no stranger to the sun as she is in the lovely sun-kissed skin tone. Her hair is a light dirty blonde. It is parted to her left side with the left side pulled back and tied. There's a bit of gel to hold her wavy curls in place. She is also wearing a pair of silver earrings with yellow rhinestone centers. Given her name is Le Tuxedo, Eugenia is wearing a formal ensemble. Her white button-up top has balloon sleeves and is made up of a sheer fabric with some thicker white fabric in front to give her some modesty. The front is lined with white pearl buttons and her collar has a mesh black bow tie. Her shirt has the hook and thread closure in the front. Her midsection has a fascinating piece that looks like a hybrid of a bottom portion of a suit jacket and a corset. The corset is fitting at the stomach and fans out around the hip. There's a series of black buttons on the front and fake pockets on the sides. 
Eugenia is wearing fitted black dress pants. Her shoes are a pair of black satin heels with detailed metal straps. The soles are a hot pink color. As for her stand, it is a standard acrylic FR base with adjustable metal pole. Eugenia completes her formal look with a period-inspired pillbox velvet flocked hat. She comes with a magnetic brooch that you can attach to the hat or anywhere else. Be very careful with these pieces as they are quite small and delicate and easy to lose. Eugenia does come with a second pair of hands. This one's in the holding position. She also comes with a oversized ring with a yellow rhinestone center. She has painted mauve nails. Eugenia is an addition size of 1,795, which makes her the lowest addition size out of the three girls. Following up next is Mademoiselle Lilith Blair. Lilith is a companion doll to last year's W Club exclusive, Mademoiselle Eden Blair, who we have reviewed a bit ago. Like her sister, Lilith sports whimsical lavender hair. While Eden's lavender hair is a warmer tone, Lilith's is a cooler tone. It is parted in the middle and is about hip length. Lilith has smoky silver eyeshadow with metallic silver paint fanning out from the inner crease of her eyes. She has warm brown side glancing eyes. Her lips are painted in a light pastel peach color. Lilith wears a pair of shiny bow tie earrings. Her most interesting piece would be her pastel rhinestone choker. Check out all those rhinestones. Like all chokers, this was insanely hard to put on, so please take your time and be gentle when attempting to put it on. Mademoiselle Lilith is wearing a cream-colored mini cocktail dress. The dress is made up of micro sequins. The top portion of the dress is styled with a large powder blue bow draping. The lower bow train is detachable via a small thread loop at her right hip. Lilith comes with a pair of tulle opera length gloves. This mitten style of gloves is not our favorite. Not only do they not fit like real gloves, they are incredibly hard to put on, especially with this very thin fabric that seems very susceptible to ripping and tearing. When she's not wearing her gloves, Lilith can wear her sun-shaped ring with a rhinestone in the center. Her nails are painted pale pink like her lips. Lilith does come with a second pair of hands, this one in a clutch holding position. She comes with a gold clutch purse with a metal bow tie detail. It does open up. Lilith wears strappy open toe heels in a pretty coral color. Luckily, the pair of shoes does have a zipper closure in the back. Her stand is the standard sturdy new face base with the metal pole. Lilith is an addition size of 1,951, making her the most popular of the three upgrade girls. Last, but definitely not least, is Pretty Bird, Poppy Parker. Technically, this is the first Poppy to be revealed in the Model Traveler collection for this year, but Pretty Bird ended up being the last one of the collection to make it into collector's hands. Unlike her sisters in the collection, Pretty Bird has different eye screening. This one is more in line with the Style Lab Poppies released in last year's convention. Pretty Bird has silver eyeshadow with straight, bold eyeliner. She has side glancing light blue eyes and candy apple red lipstick. Poppy has milk chocolate brown hair that is parted in the middle. Her hair reaches the curve of her back. Poppy wears a pair of floral earrings. Each earring piece is a series of three white flowers with black painted centers. Poppy is wearing a black and white houndstooth pattern mini jumper dress. Underneath, she has on a white blouse with elbow sleeves. The blouse has a Peter Pan style collar finished with a large red bow tie. The bow tie is detachable. The outfit also has a functioning red belt. Poppy has a matching ring to her earrings as well as two bracelets in red and black. Poppy comes with an additional pair of fingerless gloved hands, and her nails are painted red to match her lips. Onward to her socks and shoes. Her socks are calf high and are bright red. Poppy is wearing black and white loafers with molded metal plates in the front of the shoe. Like most poppies, Pretty Bird has ankle articulation. Poppy comes with her standard Poppy Parker acrylic base and adjustable metal pole. Poppy has a large circular black hat that is flocked. There is a red ribbon around the base of the hat. Be careful with the flocking as it sheds a lot, just like Eugenia's hat. Her final accessory is her cute red pleather backpack. There's two red straps in the front, and when unbuckled, the backpack opens up. 
Poppy is an edition size of 1,911. Each year, the W Club offers upgrade dolls to invite you to spend more money on dolls and even more on memberships if, if you want multiple copies of the upgrade dolls. This was the first year I was actually tempted to get multiple memberships. I personally think this is the most solid upgrade collection IT has released in recent years. It's really hard not to get all three, if not more. I think all three of these dolls are gorgeous for different reasons. Eugenia is a dead ringer for going public Eugenia and is definitely a fan favorite. I can see newer collectors and those that miss out on going public purchasing La Tuxedo solely for the resemblance. Mademoiselle Lilith is a companion doll to Eden released last year. Again, she would be a great substitute for Eden if you miss out last year or if you want both twins. I'm a little disappointed Lilith's outfit does not resemble her sister's Rococo styling, but I understand that upgrade dolls are considered price friendly so they lack some of the details given to the main collection. Pretty Bird Poppy, on the other hand, man, she's everything. Her screening is very similar to the popular Chow Poppy, or more recently, the Yellow Heads Up Poppy from last year's Style Lab. She also reminds me a lot of Ferris of All Poppy in terms of coloring, but with more of the youthful screening. Her outfit is very cute and doesn't seem budget at all. You know you get bang for your buck when it comes to Poppy. I've seen a lot of collectors been noticing that her head does not match her body. Her head is, seems to be a bit more yellow than her body, so it's also something to look out for if you did purchase her. I have to say, this is arguably the strongest batch of upgrade dolls I've seen so far in my years as an IT collector. Although some of the outfits lean a bit simple, which I think we should expect given the cheaper upgrade price points, each one is beautiful in her own right. I also really love how this trio seems to tie in thematically to this year's IT offerings and contribute to our collections in clever ways. We have a matching Lilith to the gorgeous W Club exclusive Mademoiselle Eden, a London-inspired Poppy to complete the Model Traveler collection, and a recreation of a Grail Eugenia, which seems to be a bit of a wink to this year's legendary convention theme. As Sang said, it would have been nice to see more of the Rococo Eleganza from Eden in this Lilith, but her purple hair and jewelry is honestly stunning in person, and these twins shine when put together. Poppy is absolutely adorable from head to toe. This is such a girly, peppy iteration in both screening and design. Seeing La Tuxedo's face in person, I can totally see why Going Public Eugenia became wildly popular. That is a seriously fierce eye and lip combo. I thought I'd be medium on her tux look, but it's gorgeously lacy and detailed up close. As I said though, watch out for that brooch magnet. It's small and delicate, and frankly, the hat already doesn't sit very well on her head. I love all three of these dolls and hope this type of styling and theme teasing is what we continue to see in future upgrades. Thank you for joining us for our review of all three 2020 Integrity Toys upgrade dolls. Make sure to let us know what you guys think of them in the comments below and check out again our Integrity Toys playlist if you're newer to IT and want to dive into this gorgeous adult collector brand. Hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't and we will see you next time. Bye! Bye.